Hey everybody, I just wanted to talk to you for a few minutes about the different types of trellises that we use in our garden. Um, square foot gardening talks a lot about making use of the vertical space that you have because a lot of people don't have a lot of flat out space. So we want to make sure that you can grow up with a lot of different plants. So we use these type for a lot of different ones. So this is super simple to make. All we did was we got um, T-posts and you can get these either from like a tractor supply or a lot of times we get them on the side of the roads because a lot of people, you know, they have brand new trees and they have these in there for a year and then they take them out and they have no more use for them. So we take them from there sometimes too. Um, but you can also purchase these. These are eight foot tall ones. So really, really big and tall. And then this right here is just hardware remesh that we got from, I mean, you can get it from any big box store. Um, it'll be in the concrete lane section, super cheap and it's great. Um, so all we did was just put this up vertically and attach it with just these uh, zip ties. And uh, now we can grow plants up the side. So we use it to grow up like peas, beans. Um, that's, that's usually what we use for these type right here. So this type over here, my personal favorite. Um, these are just cattle panels that we got from our local tractor supply for under $20. And more T-posts. And then we arched these over and then now we have an arch. It's beautiful too, especially in the summer whenever plants start growing up. We do a lot of different squashes on here. And you can do squashes, beans, um, cucumbers, watermelon. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless that, that you can grow on, on here. And it's beautiful to walk through too. So over here on this bed, we have two different types. So we have one that we put up and down and then one that we put on its side over here. Um, over here we can grow some things that grow a little bit short or that are a little bit shorter, not quite as tall. Um, whenever you are putting these on your beds, try to keep in mind where your west side is. So we have this on the west side of our bed. So that way, whenever the sun gets really intense in our Oklahoma heat, these plants down here can get a little bit of break from the sun in the afternoon when they really need it. So um, we'll find that these plants will do a whole lot better. If you have any questions about how we did this, feel free to leave a comment below. There's also a video that we did last summer that shows us going through step by step of making one of these on the other side of our garden and um, putting it together and getting it all connected. If you have any questions about what plants you can grow and when, make sure you check out our app from Seed to Spoon. It is available for download for free in iOS and Android store and it'll walk you through um, how to plant over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, all of that. And it'll give you planting dates based on your location and walk through pests, companion planting, all of that. 